Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. On today's episode of Basic Arduino, we are going to take a look at how to set up and use the I2C 1602 LCD display with our Arduino boards. The first thing we'll do is take a look at how to connect the LCD display to the Arduino. Then we will take a look at displaying some text on the LCD. And then finally we will uh, display some sensor readings on the 1602 LCD display. All right. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I will be using a Arduino Uno, but the connections will also be the same for Pro Minis, Nanos, and DeMillanova boards. Boards such as the Mega use different pins. The data sheet for your board will tell you which pins are used for the SCL and SDA connections for the I2C communication. So if you are using uh, Uno, Nano, Pro Mini, or DeMillanova, go ahead and connect your VCC and ground pins. Next, connect the SDA pin to A4 pin of the Arduino, and then connect the SCL pin from the LCD to the A5 pin of the Arduino. Now that we got the board connected to our Arduino, let's test it out and display some text on it. The Arduino IDE comes pre-installed with a library for LCD screens, but unfortunately it does not work with the I2C communication, so we will have to download and install one that will. In the description below you will find a link to this tutorial's webpage where you can download the library. After you download the library, open up your Arduino IDE. Next click on the sketch tab select include library and then add zip library. Now you can navigate to where you downloaded the library to and select and open it. Now that you have the library installed go back to the tutorials web page and copy and paste the custom text sketch code into your Arduino IDE. Okay Let's take a look at the sketch and how you can modify it. Here we have our two libraries we are using. The wire.h is already included with your Arduino IDE, so don't worry about downloading it. Next we are defining some parameters for the LCD. The only thing that you want to change here is the I2C address. If you don't know your LCD's address, just look in the description below and you will find a link to a quick and easy to follow tutorial showing you how you can scan and find any I2C device's address. Now we can move on to the void setup. First, we are starting up and defining that this is a 16 character by 2 line display. Then we are clearing the display just in case something is still in its memory. Next, we can move on to the void loop. The first thing we need to do is set the cursor position for where we want the text to begin. The first number is the column and the second number is the line. If you set the cursor at 0, 0, you would start your text at the first column on the top line. I want my text to be centered so I'm setting the cursor to the fifth column on the first line. Now on this line, we are doing a lcd.print command, which tells the display what you want it to say. I want my display to say basic on the first line and Arduino on the second line. This lcd.print will be for the top line, so I'm putting basic here for my text. Remember to put the text between quotation marks, or you will get an error when you try to upload the sketch. Now we are setting the cursor for the fourth column on the bottom line and telling it to print Arduino. After that we are just doing a two second delay and then clearing the display followed by another two second delay. What this will do is make the text flash on and off like this. Now that you know how to display text on the LCD, let's move on and look at displaying a sensor reading on the display. 
To demonstrate this, we will connect the potentiometer to the Arduino and display its analog reading on the LCD display. This is how to connect the potentiometer. Connect the wiper to A1 of the Arduino and then VCC and ground to the other two pins of the potentiometer. All right, let's get to the code. To get the sketch, just go to this tutorial's webpage and copy and paste it into the Arduino IDE. The beginning of the sketch is the same as the previous one. Nothing changes until we get to the void loop. The first thing we are doing is reading the analog value of the potentiometer and saving it as an integer called val, V-A-L. Then, on the first line of the LCD, we are writing val equals, and then on the second line, we are displaying the analog value of the potentiometer. As you can see, the only difference between displaying text and a sensor value is that the text is in quotation marks and the sensor reading is not. And that concludes this episode of Basic Arduino. I hope you found the information useful. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a great day, and we hope to see you here again on a future episode.